I don't know, y'all. I'm tired. I'm tired. I am so sick and tired. Aren't y'all tired? Oh, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I'm so, I'm so tired of this constant gender war, this constant back and forth, this constant argument of who's supposed to do what, who's supposed to do what, what side does what, what side has a stronghold on the other side. I'm so fed up. I'm so tired of it. I used to watch and listen to a lot of podcasts because like I've mentioned in other videos, I'm the type of person that likes to listen to something while I do work. I kind of like to multitask unless the other task involves me reading or actively talking and listening to somebody else. Other than that, if I'm doing work around the house, put on a podcast, put on a long form YouTube content and go with what I need to do. Nowadays, my podcast listening has definitely been very selective because I've realized not everybody who has a mic needs to be talking. Anybody who has a camera needs to be recording. And there's just so much, so many BS content BS podcasts out there that are just regurgitating straight garbage and it's quite annoying at this point it's annoying this constant gender war back and forth makes me want to throw up when I think about it now because I'm not understanding how some people can view life so black and white when life is never black and white. I feel like even if you're colorblind, you still see different shades. You do. Life is not black and white. It's not this or that. There's always gray areas. There's always color in life. That's the beauty of life. But to hear so many people just talk out of their butts, out of their the side of their necks, how we used to say it back in my days growing up. Just talking at the side of their necks about things that they feel is concrete is nauseating. It's annoying. And I'm saying it on both male side and female side because there are a lot of females out there that just don't I don't I don't know if it's not them not understanding society or them just having a one-sided view on the world which is understandable you know just everybody perspective is different everybody's outlook on life is different i could give you that it's fine but when it comes to the point where instead of listening to the other person's view point or listening to their argument or their what they're trying to give out is an it's a legit argument. It's not a discussion. It's not a it's not a um back and forth, you know, conversation. It's legit argument and it's annoying. It's annoying. I feel as though we all need an educated course on how to talk to other people because the the being boastful boasterous boastful being boastful and just showing yeah your way is correct and there's no other way it's annoying it's annoying take in what somebody has to say T tell the other person or the other side what your viewpoint is and keep it pushing this back and forth is so annoying. Like, I used to like reading the comments. I'm just getting away from a lot that is on social media as honestly because it's it's exhausting. It's exhausting. I didn't know the whole realm of red pill, blue pill, simps, all of that until I want to say a good eight months ago, the end of last year, middle of last year, 
I want to say. So at this point, a good year. I did not know the true definite. First of all, I didn't know the true definition of red pill until I want to say the beginning of this year. But just seeing how combative people are when it comes to the gender wars, it makes me really think about where is society going? What are we doing? Yes, as humans, we've always been against each other, to be honest. But I feel as though as time evolves, as as we grow into more modern times and being more knowledgeable, being more aware of our surroundings and um, different aspects of the world and culture and human and sociology and psychology, I thought we would be better when it comes to understanding and being able to agree to disagree with other people, but it seems like it's just getting worse. And I don't know where this is heading. And it's quite scary to be honest because I never want to meet somebody, whether male, female, doesn't matter, and immediately want to argue with a person. I'm not here on earth for that. I'm not here to just give you my way and make you forced to go my way. It's, that's too much energy for me. I feel as though we need to learn to acknowledge what other people have experienced Take in what they had to say and keep it pushing. For the whole gender world war, gender war aspect of things, I'm not understanding why if you as a male, you as a female, like a certain type of female or male, a certain type of person, why don't you just sought out to look for that type of person? The thing I have about the, the, look, okay, let me rewind. I'm not anti-man. I feel like growing up, I was very independent and seeing what my mom has gone through and seeing what other females in my family has gone through and is continue going through, it made me very standoffish when it comes to men. But I'm not anti-man. Why? Because I know men and female are here to complement one another. I'm very aware of that. It's not eliminate all men on earth, even though I feel as though. <laughs> Anyways, it's not about eliminating all men on earth. And it's not about eliminating all females on earth. It's not about making men submit to everything we as females do and vice versa. There are things I don't want to do as a female, and I feel like the men or males in my life are better suit to do it. There are things males don't want to do, and females in their life are better suit to do it. We complement one another. Complement. Here's a catch. Not everybody you come across will be your complement. And we have to know that. We have to acknowledge that. I don't understand why there needs to be a back and forth trying to force somebody who's not your complement to fit into this box or to fit into that shoe to be a complement. There's so many different people in the world. You will find your complement. They're out there. And then if they're not made, there are people who are willing to give up certain things in life or certain rules that they put out for themselves or they're willing to compromise in order to be that compliment for you. And I feel as though if they're compromising and they're letting you know they're compromising, it's only fair for you to compromise. If you don't want to compromise, then so be it. Keep it pushing. Leave the person alone because they will find theirs, okay? This gender back and forth between, gender war back and forth between 
modern women, traditional women, traditional man, modern man. Like, it's exhausting. It's tiring. Are you guys not tired? Because I'm tired. I'm not even tired of listening to it because I that's not content I gravitate towards. But I am tired of seeing the titles. The ones that, the videos that are becoming more viral, the videos that um, YouTube or social media try to push. I'm tired of seeing the title. It is like, ugh, another one, another one, another one. Life is simply complex. It has its, its times where we as human, we just do too much. We overdo it. But there are times where you sit back and think, how can I maneuver in order for me to get to this position and for in order for my life to play out the way I would like it to play out? This whole back and forth, you must do this, you must do that as a woman, as a man, you must do this. It's exhausting. Find your person, right? Or if you end up meeting somebody, get to know the person. If the person is not up to par to what you desire, leave them. Step back and keep it pushing. Because you know why? There's, it's, it costs more energy or it takes more energy for you to try to convince somebody to mold into what you want them to mold into than to find somebody else that is appreciative of who you are and wouldn't mind to compromise on certain things. I'm telling you, it is so much easier just to find that person. And I, but I feel as though a lot of people on both sides, they're probably in a rush to find that person or, yeah, basically it. they're in a rush. They can't wait. Either they can't be left alone with their own self. They don't like the, their own self or they, they just have to have somebody with them around them all the time or they're very narcissistic and they just love that attention. Don't rush it and you'll find the person. Actually, y'all will find each other. It'll be 50-50. I know a lot of y'all don't like that word, 50-50 for a lot of stuff, but that's just what it is. What me as a female can give to a man and a man can or can't give to me, it's 50-50. It is what it is. It's a give and take. Everybody's relationship, whether intimate or friendship-wise, is different. If y'all decide not to go 50-50 on whatever it is that's on y'all, guess what? Nobody else can come into your relationships and be like, nah, girl, it's supposed to be like this. If you are happy, truly happy in what you're in, nobody should be able to come and flip <laughs> I'm gonna flip the table and be like, nah, you should be doing this. He should be doing that. Absolutely not. So I don't understand this entire gender war saga that is going on on the web. It's exhausting. I found way more peace in knowing, let me sit my behind down and God will come and send whoever my way or I will be going along to that person's way and we are going to compromise and try to make it work. And if it don't, why do I have to bash the person? Unless the person is truly, like a truly, truly bad person. But I feel like that's where the sense of discernment comes in and you really need to analyze people not for what they have, not for what they have on, um, not for what they can offer you, but for the character, true character. Y'all remember that word, character? Because that's important. Character is not a 
frivolous thing. It's not a made up thing. It's not cartoon. It's seeing, it's how the person moves in different situation is realizing if this person is, is who they say they are, if this person can keep their word, if the person is true to themselves, if, they, if they're not flip-flopping all the time around different environments, one person one way, the other person the next environment. Character is real. And I feel like the discernment that we have in us, as you grow older, you will learn to analyze people's character over their money, over what they have, what they do. Character is big. So this gender war um, is childish, honestly. It's childish. To me, it's given very much high school, college, milk on the tongue. That's what it's giving me. Because true adults don't need to be going back and forth with somebody they probably don't even like in order to prove a point that they have, that they view for their life. Why do I need to go back and forth with strangers on the web about what I expect for my life? It makes absolutely no sense. Now, if I am in real life, like, interaction with someone and they have a completely different view from me um i'm a nip in the butt right there there's no reason for us to continue to be friends there's no continue um no reason for us to continue to try to talk i'm saying a completely different view to where i i don't agree with at all not to be like, oh, you have a different view, so I don't like you. Not like that. Come on, grow up. I thought <laughs> growing up and being an adult would mean we could have civilized conversations. We can have, we could agree to disagree and keep it pushing. I thought that's what adulthood was about. But, and I feel as though I thought as we grow, more modern, more knowledgeable in terms of the type of information we're able to take in, information at the tip of our fingers, being able to be aware of people's emotions, people's um, value in life, because people are extremely valuable. That's another topic for another day. Um, I thought we would be able to be further along in our dialect, in our conversation, in our communication skills with other people. But it is looking like with this whole podcast realm that's evolving, I can't say people true colors are coming out because... People have always been who they are, but I can totally say people who have malicious intents, intents have a platform now. That's the problem. When only a select had, you know, select good, select bad had. But now it's like, whoa, we know you don't like females like that, but to, to want us to, to uh, what's the word I can use, to want us to get rid of ourselves is extreme. It's like, who hurts you? Vice versa for our females too. We have a lot of females that absolutely hate men. And trust me, babes, I get it. <laughs> I get it. But at the same time, we need each other. Whether you decide to stay single, we still need men. Whether men decide to stay single, they still, they still need females. Because we work together on earth in order for us to live 
this life. It's a give and take. It's literally 50-50. There's only two type of genders that God created in the beginning. Male and female. If there were more, he would have made. Well, if more was necessary, he would have made. Only male and female. So this gender war, I'm tired of it. Can we all just get along? Because this anger is toxic. And uh, I understand it could be frustrating when everybody has gone through different experiences in life to make them turn on the other for some reason. But there's a point as an adult for us to look back on what we've been through in our life and to be like, yo, we need to get past this. On both ends, we need to get past this and try to move forward towards a more genuine, a more calm society where both genders are working together. We should always be working together. Like I said, everybody's relationship with their friends, their families, their loved one is going to be completely different and and that's okay. Different is what we need. But please, for those who are in a healthy relationship, those who are not in a relationship at all, do not think we do not need each other. Do not think the other is disposable because human life is human life and we only have us to be honest we only have us so please stop Uh, y'all making y'all money off of those gender words so I guess y'all gonna continue whether y'all want to or not until it gets tired or until the trend is not focused on that anymore. I completely understand marketing. But it's just so annoying. And at this point in my life, I'm literally filtering out all of that BS because it's not healthy mentally. It does not get us anywhere but to more anger against the opposite gender. That's all I had to say. I'm about tired of this. <laughs> I'm about tired. I'm sick and tired. I'm sick and tired.